would happen in Titusville, Pennsylvania. The story begins with the arrival of Colonel Edwin Drake to inspect a strange spring that bubbled oil. We're standing just feet away from the original production oil well, drilled by Colonel Edwin L. Drake. Basically, it was the very first time that man could get oil out of the ground in any kind of amount. This is Titusville's motto, welcome to the valley that changed the world. Our tagline is, you know, the birthplace of the oil industry. If you look at the first census, there were maybe 200 people. Then the oil boom hit, and this place exploded. We had thousands of people pouring into the oil region, and they started punching holes in the ground everywhere. And I mean everywhere. Oil Creek is where oil was first found. That's why it's called Oil Creek. It was the lifeblood of the area. We used it for the transportation. We used it for business. We wouldn't exist if we hadn't had that creek. I know, it's creek. Well. Vehicles, electrolysis, and several other things that we're going to be studying here in the near future. And I'd like to introduce our special guest speaker today. Hi, everybody. I'm Larry Moulthrup. I'm a chemical engineer. I graduated way back in the dark ages in 1978. <laughs> Titusville prides itself as being the beginning of the transportation revolution. We're now on the cusp of a new revolution in transportation based on hydrogen. I see an opportunity to bring these ideas together. And how about if you help me go gather some water from Oil Creek, and I can convert that water using electrolysis to create hydrogen and power a fuel cell vehicle. We can bring that vehicle back here, and together we can tell the story of how we're powering the next phase in transportation. Will you guys help me? Sure. Yeah? You into it? Yeah. 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 All right. As you can see today, hydrogen is everywhere. <laughs> Before we had drilled for oil here in Titusville, Native Americans would skim oil off the top of the water. I thought it was pretty cool that we're actually coming back to Oil Creek and we're just taking the water out. With the water we collected, 150 gallons worth, that's enough to electrolyze and fill over a dozen Toyota Mirais. Water electrolysis allows you to take energy renewable energy when it's available, channel it into the electrolyzer and break apart these water molecules. You now have potential energy in the form of gaseous hydrogen. So put that into a Mirai, combine it with oxygen from the atmosphere, and now you can power the vehicle. I want to see how excited they are to explain to the people in Titusville what their perspective is, how they view rich traditions established here in Titusville, and how they view this new innovation based on hydrogen. It may sound like it's just a theory at this point, but if you follow me, I will show you the actual car, the water from Oil Creek outside. A simple science experiment that we've been doing since middle school, and it's actually being used in cars and making them run. Through innovation, mankind can seek things out and grow and change. I never thought that my little town would be part of such a big thing, but now I'm actually driving the real car, and it feels awesome. <laughs> to bring it back here to Titusville where we started the oil industry. It's a proud moment, it really is.